Rick Green is a former Texas state representative. He's a national speaker, author, and radio host. Rick and his family travel the nation speaking on America's forgotten history and heroes with an emphasis on moral, religious, and constitutional heritage. Rick and David Barton co-host the national daily radio program, Wall Builders Live. Rick is the author and executive producer of Constitution Alive, America's most engaging and entertaining study of the U.S. Constitution. Rick and his wife, Kara, founded Patriot Academy, an elite leadership training program specializing in applied civics with a biblical, historical, and constitutional foundation. Through their Constitution Coach program, they're training and empowering adults across the nation to educate their com communities about the Constitution. Welcome, Rick, back to the Economic War Room. Hey, Kevin. Always good to be with you, man. Thank you for having me back. Rick, you're a personal hero of mine. You've been out there training people in the Constitution. That's something my father did. He died a year ago. And I think he helped save America the first time when we had Ronald Reagan elected. But here you are training coaches across the country to save America in modern times. Uh, you've just done a terrific job. Thank you so much for all you're doing there. I appreciate it, man. I, I love doing it uh, and, and you know, stumbled into it, to be honest with you. I, I, um, I love liberty and I love being a state rep and, and fighting for those things. And uh, I didn't realize how important it was to actually teach people the playbook. You know, everybody wants to celebrate the touchdown or, or they want to be part of scoring the touchdown, but they're, they're not willing to learn about blocking and tackling and all of those things. And that's what we've got to teach the American people right now. What are the strategies that will get you across the goal line so you can score that touchdown in life? And, and that's what we're teaching with the Constitution now. Well, within that last election, did we win or did we just avoid losing? I, I'm, I'm still not exactly certain where we are, the mandate that we have, and what we'll accomplish with it. What do you think? Yeah, man, I think there were a lot of interesting factors this time. I mean, it was almost a perfect storm. Uh, the Democrats definitely had a lot of unforced errors. I mean, the, the whole way that they uh, actually denied democracy, right, because they didn't even uh, follow the Constitution and they didn't participate in the election itself of choosing who their nominee was going to be. It pushed all these people like RFK. Uh, over to the Republicans. I mean, if you listen to his interview, for instance, the, the the breaking point for him was not even when they wouldn't allow him to compete against Joe Biden and have debates and actually run in the Democrat Party. It was when she was unwilling to do the press conferences and the speeches and the and the debates and actually participate in the process. He said, we can't have somebody like this as president. So it pushed him over the edge. A lot of other factors, but that was what he said was the was the final straw. They did that in so many different areas that it brought a lot of people to the Republican side. And then, of course, you got, Kevin, the things that you and I talk about all the time, that the bad economic policies that produced a lot of pain that caused people to vote against the current administration. And some level of people realizing the principles were being violated. I, I think there is a, a, a certain population out there that, man, they, they recognize that this clamping down on free speech, this, this inability for people to be able to speak freely when they disagree with you, this jailing of political opponents. I mean, those things have pushed a certain segment of our population to get involved that were not involved before. Not enough for the future because that number combined with a normal candidate probably would not have won this election. That number combined with a once in a generation candidate like Donald Trump was enough to win it, but it won't be enough in four years. So we have to increase the number of people that actually understand what's going on and are willing to fight for the principles of liberty.